Hi viewers, welcome to Hindu Vasu. Thank you for watching. So today's topic is karma for your haters or enemies. It's a PK card reading. So you need to choose one card whichever you are drawn towards. If you have, if you want to watch multiple piles, watch giving some time in between the piles. Okay, don't watch continuously. So let's get into the reading. Pile number one, who choose white pet? Karma for your enemies. Your haters. So pile number one this person may be Sagittarius or their, their chart is very much dominated by fire sign and yeah fire sign there is Leo Sagittarius but strong Sagittarius because this person is very charty chatterbox and this person loves gossips they love to do gossip about anything or love to spread rumors even though they are true or false this person enjoys doing that gossiping rumors creating spreading some rumors actually the thing is i think this person created some false rumors about you or they did some bad bitching or like bad biting like telling some false things about you or spreading some rumors about you or gossiping about you and your life or your professional life your personal life whatever they created some nuisance I can say because their mouth is very big this person nature wise they are very mature they don't know what they are doing that's why i said they enjoy gossiping even though it is true or false they don't give importance or they don't even think whatever they are spreading the rumors is that true or not they don't even they don't even want to understand that they just simply enjoy gossiping uh, spreading rumors so they do that how kids enjoy playing for this person gossiping is like that so the karma for this person is actually this is a very mature person they are very creative but they have childlike nature very mature they may be having a lot of ideas but because of their immaturity because of this kind of gossiping nature no one believes in them no one believes in them or their creativity or their ideas so because of that they lack that support whatever support they needed to move forward in their life especially in the career life they fail to do that they fail to execute their ideas i can say because they they may be having a lot of ideas because this person is very passionate like like young person kid it is not even young it is a kid they are very active and very curious to do something curious to get ideas implement and all those things they may be having so much so many ideas they are very much creative but because of this nature whatever nature they had like gossiping rumoring uh, wasting time on all those things these are these things are actually low vibrational things they are simply wasting waste their time on speaking about others in that too so in that process they lost their dignity or respect whatever they have around people and are their friend circle even including them in their family no one believes them they don't believe them whatever they tell the idea and when they express ideas also no one believes them because this person is like inconsistent 
Saji is a very inconsistent person. They may be uh, start something very passionately, but when it comes to implementation, they fail to implement. They lost that passion. They need some push from the back, but because of their nature, their own nature, they lose the people who support them. I think here, this is a very immature kid, so in in some way you try to help them also i can say here because this is a very immature person you may be help try to at least not helping at least try to help them to get successful in their career or implement their ideas but instead of taking your help or appreciating your help this person created some gossip or rumors about you which is not true which may be ruined your reputation i can say so because of that they are completely losing everyone first thing they won't be having any friend circle they won't be having even family also they won't believe on them what they are doing if they tell us if they tell about some ideas and all those also they won't believe and i don't think they will get any support regarding their career matters until unless this person learn this person should learn this whatever they are doing this gossiping rumor creating false rumors is all low vibrational things this person should stop that and this person should mature they should understand the things they should learn something they should get mature then they can implement the ideas then people will believe in them and people will help them to implement those ideas execute those ideas so whatever they did to you they are going to lose everyone i think they already lost you uh, because this kind of people obviously when we come to know that they are back witching definitely we avoid the, that kind of people in our life we don't entertain so maybe i think you already if you are watching for karma obviously you may be already remove this person from your life or at least you cut the connection or block them if it are not try to find out this person and block them immediately don't share anything to that person because they are simply creating all the gossips and rumors they are simply ruining your reputation and name it is their as i said this kid is enjoying that they even they know it or not it is a low vibrational thing they simply enjoying doing that it is their hobby <laughs> like <laughs> gossiping is like their hobby some people will be there especially sages they love gossiping even though when sometimes they know that whatever they are gossiping it is completely false still they gossip because they enjoy it so just be careful with this person you already blocked this person then no problem if at all still they are in your life it is better to find out this person catch this person and block them don't entertain this kind of people in your life because they simply ruin your reputation ruin our name reputation and all they even though in the face they feel, they act like they are our friends but as i said they are very much interested in back bitching they do back bitching which is not good so we should not entertain so anyway this person will learn the lessons because it is still they are very mature universe will teach them lessons as of now no one believes them so don't worry if they are telling anything also no one believes them but don't entertain this kind of people so let's move on to pile number 2 who choose yellow pile so pile number 2 karma pari very enter sir in this so pile number 2 this person may be taurus or their chart is very much dominated by earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this person is very materialistic person this person only thinks about money or at least they when they are dealing with people they simply see the materialistic gains what they are getting from the opposite person they don't see the love care kindness compassion they don't bother about all those things they simply speak with money speak with materialistic things if they want to get something from someone they will give gifts costly gifts or expensive things or they 
give money to get what they want including love and care if they want to have someone in their life they will simply show off with gifts that's how the this person attract people in their life including in their personal life not just in the business including in their personal life they don't know about love or this this kind of things love feelings emotions okay they don't know about all those things they simply know pentacles so i think in this in your case this person is i am sensing like it is a your family member are very close person a very best friend kind of person this person maybe whatever you gave you gave them maybe you showed through love compassion but this person treated either they treated you badly or they took for granted because simply they don't know the meaning of all those things when someone don't know what it is exactly they don't know how to treat how to take it how to receive it so this person don't know that language that love language they don't know because of that maybe they took you for, for granted or at least when you show love and compassion they simply see here you can say one more thing maybe their love language is money giving materialistic things anyway this person don't understand emotions that is sure so this person maybe did not understand your emotions even though if you gave love to them they took for granted or they like they feel you like see when someone don't understand what is love and emotions when we give them that love and emotion they behave differently to with us they will insult us they tell us that it is weak persons they treat us like we are weak persons because we are crying because we are showing that emotions we are getting vulnerable so when we show vulnerable to people who don't understand those feelings they simply feel that we are very weak we are weak people actually that is not the right thing but this person don't know that language so when they when we someone cry someone get vulnerable they feel that that person is very weak so here you may be very loving caring person or at least you are ready to show your emotions feelings and you are ready to get vulnerable in front of this person because mostly we won't get vulnerable with everyone right that's why i am telling this is this may be very close person to you either they are your family member or you are a very close friend close circle not unknown person or stranger or some um, distance person it is very close person so they took you granted or they as i said they treated you less than what you deserve or as i said they thought that you are a weak person because you are showing your vulnerability you are maybe you put them on the pedestal that is also one reason why they took you for granted whatever the reasons here the karma for this person is they end up in a bad situation end up in like left out in the cold they end up alone i can say here this person is not alone there is someone dependent on them maybe they may be having one more family member who is dependent on them so this person end up alone they don't they won't be having anyone in their life who will who will give that love and care affection for them the way you treated them that care love what you gave them this person don't have obviously when you don't understand you don't appreciate the things what you have in your life universe will take that back because you don't know how to appreciate the things so same thing will happen to this person this maybe you are going to leave them or leave them you are not going to accept this person in your life again because you, when you come to know that they are taking you for granted or they are uh, thinking that you are a weak person 
they are taking advantage of your kindness and love obviously we will cut that person so maybe you are going to leave this person because they are going end up in lonely situation alone not alone and not alone it is like lonely they end up with nothing they are going to lose their money they are going to lose i don't think this person will have anyone except you because here i am not getting anything like that so this, maybe you are the only person who is taking care of this person they don't have anyone in their life even if they have friends also they are end up lonely they won't be having anyone in their life to help them at least talk to them at least share their feelings because they don't know in the past or at least now also they are taking that love care and all for granted they don't know all those things so universe will showing them what it is like having someone in your life who is loving and caring so i think this person karma is losing you literally so pile number 2 karma for your enemy is i think you are going to leave this person left out in the cold like no one will be there with them no one will understand them even including they don't be having any kind of financial support they will completely like a, maybe they are already dependent on you when you leave them they won't be having anyone in their life so for finances also they won't have maybe this person is not independent financially it actually it is a very bad card i don't like personally because this person have someone who is already dependent on so pile number 2 i think this person need to learn some lessons where this person need to learn that materialistic things are not everything this person under and this person should understand what relationship means so for that i think this person need to be in this place for some more time so anyway pile number 2 you are enemy is really hater or enemy is really going to end up in a very bad situation which i personally don't like maybe they hurted you a lot it is their karma we cannot do anything okay let's move on to pile number 3 who choose green pile so pile number 3 karma for your haters or enemy so pile number 3 this person may be capricorn strong cap capricorn or their chart is very much dominated by earth sign taurus with go capricorn See, this card is actually queen of pentacles this person in the past they may be in a position of queen of pentacles where she is very independent very generous very giving very caring nurturing beautiful she know how to handle herself she know how to take care of herself their karma is losing everything this person going to lose their independence lose their coins or i can say stability in the past or at least from now they may be very grounded person but because of their karma whatever they did to you because of that karma they are going to lose this their stability they are going to lose their financial stability as well as as a person they are going to lose themselves like they become very selfish in the right, wrong way because when we love ourselves people will call us selfish that's a different thing but this person will become completely self absorbed or self selfish in a negative way here i think this person
this person try to make you dependent or they try to control you with their money or with their power because queen of pentacles is kind of power not like empress but they may be having power of money they may be having money so with that money they try to control the people it is not in a maybe it is not like negative way they try to control you with the showing generosity care loving with that things maybe they try to control you or in any way here i am getting that they want to make you unstable you are the person maybe very grounded person very stable person but this person try to make make you or made you that you, that you are you where you are losing your ground or where you are feeling like you are started feeling like unstable they created some kind of disturbance i can say in your stability especially it is in your career or personal life they try to create some kind of unstable shake your ground ground maybe and they try to take your stability so that you can become de depend on them you can depend on them so that they can control you here simply they don't want you to be independent this person completely with that mindset so for that their karma is they are going to become dependent they are going to lose whatever they are having including their beauty maybe they are aging very fast maybe they are losing their hair maybe they are losing their beauty they are losing their pentacles they are losing when they lose pentacles and all those things obviously will pentacles will make us grounded and when they me they lose that pentacles they will definitely become unstable so they are going to become unstable at least feeling ungrounded because of that they become very self absorbed selfish negatively so they are going to lose people whoever in the past if they have any friends family or co-workers neighbors who think that this person is very generous person caring person now they are going to understand not it is true nature or i cannot say their true nature but they are going to behave differently completely opposite so people will come to know about their nature so obviously people don't entertain that kind of negativity negativity right so they are going to lose everything here they are going to lose their position they are going to lose pentacles if they have any pets they are going to lose that pets they are going to end up alone or if they attract people also they will be not healthy people because of their negativity because they they are they are completely in self absorption and uh, they are attracting wrong people because of that energy they are going to attract so many unhealthy relationships in their life maybe one point of time they have everything but they did not show gratitude towards the things what they have because queen of pentacles is privileged lady in the privileged woman who is having everything maybe this person misused those gifts i can say 
that is the reason they are missing everything so this is the karma for your enemy or hater here i can only say that they may be try to control you with their beauty or with their money or that obviously they will be control freaks some people will be so maybe she is uh, that person also a control freak they may be men or women so it's moon to pile number 4 who choose blue pile so pile number 4 karma for your haters or enemies so pile number 4 this person may be aquarius or scorpio strong aquarius or scorpio or there here yeah you can take it as aquarius or scorpio this person is very dreamy or imaginative or always they live in the dreams or imaginations or they are the person who love to be in daydream they don't know how to get the dream into reality or turn the that dream into reality they simply they love to imagine the things very imagination imaginative kind of person or the brain is always in the imaginations or dreams they have very big big dreams not small dreams they may be having different kind of dreams Pile number four. I think here you are the person who is very wise, or who have lot of wisdom, or at least life experience. Where you know, if at all you have any kind of dream, you know how to turn into reality, or at least you work hard to fulfill that wish or dream. this person simply here i'm getting messages whatever you have this person want it you may be having lot of opportunities or options in your life because seven of cups is completely option cards where someone is having so many options in their life whether it is a personal life or whether it is career related matters in every way you may be a person very abundant and this person want to become like you or at least they want to have everything what you have and they are dreaming for it or at least maybe this person is thinking like that they are by dreaming they are thinking that they are manifesting <laughs> this person whatever you have they want for them so for that what this person is doing is what you did why you get all those options is completely your story but this person what they are doing is they simply sitting and imagining all those things by thinking that it will become manifestation and it will come into reality this person either they don't know how to manifest the things or they are manifesting wrongly doing some mistakes in manifestation here i don't think they did something wrong to you here completely i'm sensing they want whatever you have i think here you have so many things in your life it is so many options you are you have protection it is like rainbow everything you have everything you are a very abundant person and you are a wise person this person want to become like you but this person don't know how to become like you 
maybe they are thinking that by sitting and uh, imagining you got all those things so they are also doing the same thing this person should understand to become abundant or to get all these things they need to go through some tough times in their life because person simply cannot become wise like this person life experiences will make us wise here i don't think they did something wrong to you it is completely either one thing they may be hate you because you have everything you are wise you have so many options you can get whatever you want in your life so they simply want that life for them but the way they are they want it or at least either they the way they are want it is a wrong way or they don't know how to get it they need guidance if at all they thinking that whatever they are doing by sitting dreaming they get it they should understand what exactly the manifestation because simply sitting and thinking we won't get the things they, that won't get manifested we need to put our work we need to do hard work you manifestation is, there are people some people even i get some clients simply they want something they simply think still that i will sit and write <laughs> i will sit and write so tell me how many times i need to write to get that into my life so if you sit and write by sitting and writing something we will get everyone will become ambani adani okay <laughs> no. this don't work in that way this person need to understand that your so, station is a completely different thing we need to put hard work we need to put that dedication simply sitting by simply sitting and thinking that we need to become so and so correct so simple example if you want to get beautiful skin simply sitting and uh, writing scripting i want to become beautiful i want to be you won't become beautiful <laughs> you will get tension stress and you will get wrinkles hmm? <laughs> instead of dimples you will get wrinkles you need to search for good beauty products or skin products which will good for your skin type then you need to go to dermatologist or skin care specialist you, you need to take that regimen skin care regimen you need to follow it every day without missing then after 12 weeks 13 weeks you will see the result that's so you will become but this person don't know all those things they simply sitting and maybe they are it is not even writing it is i don't think they are scripting they are simply imagining because there is a vision vision visualization there is a manifestation visualizing by things we will get it but it is not happening this way this person should know about it because simply sitting and visualizing things we won't get it in the background we need to do lot of hard work we need to get that will power for that there is a different background work we need to do so pile number 4 i don't think they did anything wrong to you they are simply hate i are they feel jealous that you have everything you are very matured and you have everything and you can get anything so leave that person this person need to understand the things because simply sitting they won't get the things so they will learn this imagination will lead them somewhere where they will learn the things they won't be having any other choice or they are simply live their life in the dreams so let's move on to pile number 5 which is red pile so pile number 5 karma for your haters are enemy so pile number 5 this person may be pisces or their chart is very much dominated by water sign cancer pisces scorpio mostly here i don't think it is a scorpio it is pisces so this person i don't know why you are thinking this person is your hater or enemy because this person is not going to get any kind of karma 
आई थिंक दे मे बी आर दे आर गोइंग टू गेट देर गुड कर्मा नो मैटर वॉट दे डिड टू यू आई थिंक देर गुड कर्मा इज देर सो देर गुड कर्मा इज हेल्पिंग देम टू गेट वॉट दे वॉन्ट इन देयर लाइफ बिकॉज इट इज अ नाइन ऑफ कप्स विश फुलफिलमेंट कार्ड दे आर गोइंग देर विशेस आर गोइंग टू फुलफिल इन देयर लाइफ नो मैटर वॉट काइंड ऑफ विशेस दे हैव दैट विशेस आर गोइंग टू फुलफिल फॉर दिस पर्सन दे आर बिकमिंग वेरी हैप्पी सी इट इज नाइन ऑफ कप्स वेन वी सेट दैट इट इज ए हैप्पी कार्ड विश फुलफिलमेंट कार्ड इट इज नॉट दैट इजी बिकॉज नाइन ऑफ कप्स टू रीच दिस पोजिशन दिस पर्सन गॉन थ्रू ए लॉ from cup 1 to he traveled to nine of cups before this eight of cups that means he walked away from everything which is not serving in their life whether it is a relationship whether it is a job whether it is a place anything whatever is not serving in their life they left everything behind that's why they end up in this nine of cups and that leaving everything behind that letting go of or walking away from the things which are not serving you is the very difficult part of our journey we need to leave everything it is like mastering the detachment this person did that this person mastered the detachment maybe that is also one reason why they blessed with nine of cups because eight of cups after eight of cups they get this they end up with nine of cups where it is a very happy and fulfillment as i said it is a wish come true card so if you think that this person left you or they did something wrong to you i don't think they did anything bad because it is part of their journey as i said in the before this card it is eight of cups that means they need to walk away from everything so maybe in that eight of cups you are also one of the person who they walked away from you maybe that is also one reason why you are thinking that this person is your enemy or hater so they need to get karma but the thing is it is a process for in their life it is the process for them to walk away from everything to cross that eight of cups obviously when we are crossing that eight of cups we will hurt so many people actually we are so in pain because leaving something behind is not a easy thing that letting go is a only two words but it is a very painful words it will take lot to leave everything behind because as a human beings we have that attachment that's why i said this person mastered the detachment when you master the detachment then only you can walk away from each and everything then you will reach this place so this person is not going to get any bad karma they are going to fulfill all their wishes in their life whatever wishes they had the that wishes are going to fulfill for this person and next they are going to end up with 10 of cups very happy loving family card complete satisfaction card so pile number 5 it may be make you little bit sad or bad but understand the situation of this person it is a very difficult time even you will also get that situation that kind of situation everyone will get in our life one or some now or other time come definitely we will get that time where we need to leave some things behind to move forward in our life so if at all this person left you because of that you are thinking that they need to get bad karma which is a wrong actually that is a process they need to do it so they did it they master the detachment and they move forward and they achieve this nine of cups so they are not going to get any bad karma they are going to moreover they are going to fulfill all their wishes whatever wishes they had because it is very difficult journey only people know who is dealing with 
detachment. They don't know how to let go of the things. They stuck in the same place from past 10 years, 5 years, 20 years because they don't know how to walk away from them, from that so that they can have new life. They simply stuck in the position. It is simply because of their, they need to be courageous. We need courage to let go of the things. Simply we cannot let go of the things, no matter what it may be. So thank you for watching. For more readings, you can like and subscribe. For personal readings, you can mail me. You will find the details in the description box.